really excited. Oh shit. I can't contain myself. I love this game already. Oh shit. So good. Layla, you need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Layla, wakey wakey. Don't make me come down there. Layla? Layla? <laughs> come on back. Layla, are you with me? Hepipti. Told you not to call me that. Thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The animus is rejecting you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest, Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. <sighs> anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. <sighs> oh shit. So, basically, if you're, you, you're definitely seeing this, but this is That's after... Like should do it. This is after the release. The uh, this is after the release of Origins because I couldn't show this earlier. Uh, but this is the modern day. I I was there to help. You and did a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. And it's fucking sick. That's uh, what was I gonna say? So we're just gonna I'm just gonna explore a bit in the modern day because the fact that. There is a modern day sick. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? Bayek's mummy. Real chatterbox, that one. Oh. So this is Bayek, apparently. That's cool. Sort of. Um, but yeah, sure, that makes sense. Uh, did I fuck it already? Come forth by day. Yeah. And I will guide you home. So this is down to nowhere. To? But this is pretty cool. Like, uh, it's uh, a shame that I had to break this off from the episode. Um, it's it's a real shame. Uh, but I'm gonna upload it later and just uh, add it as a two point uh, episode two or three point five or something like that. <clears throat> just to add it because we need to we need to have the full modern day. Um, but. I couldn't upload it beforehand, so and here we are. So basically, she just woke up from the animus, and I don't know anything because I'm still recording uh, episode three. So, so this is all new to me as well. But interact. Damn it! My papers went everywhere. Why? Oops! Anything important? No. Yeah, the notes on the animus. Why? Why? Pick it up then. Oh well. But so basically. Oh shit, this is big. This is cool. Can I climb? No, she cannot climb. I was in the car for a second there. So I'm I'm guessing there's gonna a lot is gonna happen. Um I just wanna run and see okay, so the camera zooms out she and she's too far from the cave. Yeah. That's sort of what I expected. <clears throat> but still it's pretty cool that it that it is here. And I woke up uh just to have some medicine and then get back into the animus. So, our main protagonist is this girl here, uh, and she has makeup around her eyes to look like Bayek, I guess. Uh, she looks pretty good. Uh, you can definitely see an improvement from Desmond in terms of um, movement, and you can definitely see that this is not just... Um, I don't know, it's just when you, when you see the game like this in uh, a modern day setting, you really feel like the game has progressed a lot, because this is uncharted level of quality i think so so this is pretty cool um can i do anything with that Generator's holding up uh Good job, Layla. can i there's no animus pulse here of course uh can i do anything Generator's with holding up Good job, Layla. i can't climb apparently uh she, she's probably gonna experience a bleeding effect 
Uh, that's most likely what's gonna happen. Okay, is that also the papers? Uh, a the little something like. Never got the creases out. I guess that's something you need to pick up. Um, uh, it's probably an achievement to get all of them. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go back into the animus and keep recording, <clears throat> and keep recording episode three. Um, and uh, when you're seeing this, is probably it's definitely gonna be later. So um, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, so this is a little out of the ordinary. Uh, so this is. Uh, uh, background of I don't know who these guys are and I probably should know so um, Blood Earth Trenchy Animus so this is probably uh, Desmond Miles click okay so I'm gonna scan through this okay I'm just gonna read this for myself you can read it too I'm just not gonna read it out loud Okay. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, menstrual disorders, NA, because he's male. <laughs> Fantastic. He was six foot and uh, 189 pounds. Born in 1997, the 13th of March. Uh, no, 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 no. Everything was no because he's dead. Okay. Okay, so I read that one. Uh, oh, one imposter. Uh, so, so 195 pounds there. So he definitely lost some pounds when he died. Um, apparently. That's cool. Post mortem. Oh, dug this out from Case Fisher's files. Proved that Desmond's DNA found its way back to observe after all. How did he die and what's up with the burns on his arm? Uh, well, he sort of touched a thing that saved the world, so, <clears throat> so that's what happened. William Ma's final, final message is, uh, to his son Desmond, he's gonna, I don't think it's dangerous for me to head to Egypt on my own. Okay, so he's, so William Ma's is in Egypt, uh, that, that I can, uh, that I can confirm, apparently. Uh, that was in 2012. Okay, so it went to, uh, but we don't have a lot of options. If there's a chance to grab the last power source, we've got to take it. So he went to Cairo to get the power source. I promise I'll be careful. I'll be finding these bathrooms since before you we were born. Oh, this was two dozen miles. Of course, yeah, he went to Cairo by himself. I remember. Um, so that doesn't matter. And he was caught at Abstergo. We all remember this in Rome, Italy, apparently. So that's pretty cool. You have some files on Alan Ricken here. Uh, is this an email to Sophia Ricken? Okay, um, Sophia, I've just seen the news about your dad. Please let me know uh, you're okay. I know you had uh, to be here there too. They're still evacuating people from the district, and honestly, the gas leak story seems like the worst cover-up ever. I've heard it in a long time. Uh, but I know you told me to stop the emails, but tonight I really need to know are you okay? So this is basically from the movie, uh, December 14, 2016. That's when uh, um, Callum Lynch killed uh, Alan Alan Ricken uh, in um, in the Assassin's Creed movie. Uh, his dad is canon. It's uh, still what's happening there is happening in real in real time in in Assassin's Creed uh, the games as well. So so that's pretty cool that they've added that. Uh, so. So this is like reports on his death. This is uh, scenes from the movie. Uh, gas leak shuts down. Uh, okay. So that's pretty cool that it actually tied it in Grand Templar. I know I'm going in the um, reverse order here. But uh, Grand Templar Hall, London. So you because they were going to show the apple. Autopsy report. He was uh, killed by blade damage to trachea horizontal incision at the neck so he was just basically his throat was cut um, pretty simple uh, who who signed is this Sophia Reichen did she sign she did the autopsy of her dad it was really really weird okay 
Okay, so that's pretty cool. Isabel Ardon, I guess that's uh, the the other the historical research deployment. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna scout through these, and you can always pause if there's something interesting. Uh, but this is really, really cool. Okay. So, intro. The Gone Finals. Uh, crazy shit out of Sturgo Broken Sound Backstabbing. Just ask my dad. Should probably have to keep just to myself. Okay, so there's definitely going on uh, some some stuff going on like uh, he's dead he was shopping he was killed in watchdogs uh, that yeah he was killed by <laughs> there he there he is uh, so he, he was killed in Chicago uh, watchdogs so that's pretty cool that they've added that as well so this is really just tying in everything really I'm gonna do all of these later uh, but I'm gonna get back into the animus Uh, yeah. Um, so this is uh, audio, apparently. So long, and thanks for all the fish, Berkeley. March 21st, 2006. The day Layla Hassan drops out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not... Okay, cool. Uh, have I got any mail? Uh, from to Sophia Riken. Oh, so, so Sophia Riken has sent me Otto Berg... Uh, oh shit, there's a lot here. Okay. Uh, was it from Ottoberg? Uh, today you get an assignment done properly, Ottoberg. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is definitely interesting, but we're, I'm gonna look at these a letter later. It was just an episode 2.5. Uh, simply um, 3.5 I'm sorry just to fill in what happened in the modern day and I'm going to go back in continue episode 3 and I'll upload this at a little later date of course you know that because you're already watching it but uh, yes going back in this is so badass be careful 